we are still exploring central america today's destination is honduras as always we will learn about the amazing countries geography history economy flag people and culture it is going to be good did you know honduras is the first country to ban smoking in your own home smokers must stand at least 2 meters away from non-smokers welcome to geography nuts this is our fourth country in central america we already learned a little about guatemala belize and el salvador i will put those link in the description if you have an already please consider watching this will give you a better picture of this area Honduras is the second largest country in Central America. It borders Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua. It has a larger Caribbean coast and a smaller Pacific coast along Gulf of Fonseca. Both coast has some islands. Largest island on Pacific coast is Tiger Island, a volcanic island with a pointy peak. home to a single village ampala beside epic beaches you can see some nice old wooden houses on the caribbean side most island are great for nature lovers biggest and the most developed one is rota honduras is divided into 18 department the capital city is tacuscalpa it is in the central district within the department of francisco morazan It's located on a hilly area 975 meters above sea level and surrounded by mountains. Similar to other countries in the region, Honduras also considered a biodiversity hotspot. It has a rainforest, cloud forest at nearly 3000 meters above sea level, mangroves, savannas and mountain ranges with pine and oak trees. and barrier reef systems this is another blue and white triband flag based on federal republic of central america the two cerulean blue bands represent the pacific ocean the caribbean sea blue sky and the brotherhood of the nations the white band in the middle represent the land between the ocean and the sea peace and prosperity of the people and purity of their thoughts these five pointed star arranged in an x pattern represent the five nations of the former federal republic of central america and the hope that these nations may form a union one day this is a very cool and very artistic coat of arms don't you think let's look at the oval shield first the oceans symbolizes both atlantic and pacific ocean the triangle symbolizes equality and freedom the two towers symbolizes defense readiness and the independence of the country the rainbow represent peace union and the ideals of hondurans the rising sun represent strength and energy of hondurans on top of the shield the arrows stand for history and the national desire to fight against any aggression the flowers and fruits coming out of cornucopia represent agriculture oak and pine trees stand for the forest the mountains symbolizes the rugged landscape the mine gates stand for the richness the tools symbolizes the constant hard work and endless effort for progress Second largest country in Central America with the area of 112 square kilometers. It has three topographical regions, extensive interior highland which covers 80% of the land and mountainous, the larger Caribbean lower land along the Caribbean coast and smaller Pacific lower land bordering Gulf of Fonseca. Western mountains have the highest peak and Cerro Las Minas 
is the highest peak at 2870 meters one of the most prominent feature in the interior highland is the depression that runs from caribbean sea to gulf of fonseca this depression split the mountain region into eastern and western parts and provide a relatively easy transportation route across the country Honduras is a water rich country Patuca river is the longest river in Honduras and the second longest in Central America with 500 kilometers in length however the most important river is Uluwa river This 400 km long river runs from central mountainous region to Caribbean Sea. Despite the abundance of rivers, lakes are rare. Lake Yayowa is the only natural lake in Honduras. This covers 79 square kilometers. Caribbean lower lands have a tropical wet climate. with a consistent high temperature and humidity and rainfalls evenly distributed throughout the year the pacific lower lands have tropical wet and dry climate with high temperature but have a noticeable dry season from november to april and wet season from may to october both caribbean coast and pacific coast daytime high temperatures averages between 28 degrees celsius and 32 degrees celsius throughout the year the interior highlands which is about 80 percentage of the country has tropical highland climate temperatures in the region decreases as the elevation increases at about 1000 meters above sea level Temperatures ranges from 30 degrees Celsius in the warmest month to 25 degrees Celsius in the coolest month. At 2000 meters above sea level, nighttime temperatures can fall to freezing level. A rare and bizarre phenomenon takes place when the weather conditions are just right in Euro Honduras. Yearly for a more than a century they have fish waves or fish needles live fish fall out of the sky local things it's a miracle some say it's due to strong winds or water spout or it could even come from fresh water cave after flood no one knows locals take these fish and cook and eat them Honduras has been inhabited by various native tribes. The largest and most developed were the Mayans. Christopher Columbus claimed the region and named it Honduras in 1502. Honduras means great depth in Spanish after its deep base. Spanish colony was established in 1524. and Honduras became part of the captaincy general of Guatemala throughout the mid 1500s native hondurians resisted spanish control but after several battles spain took control of the region and ruled it for almost 300 years until finally honduras got its independence in 1821 then it became part of the first mexican empire until 1823 after that it joined the united provinces of central american federation but that collapsed in 1838 and finally became an independent republic in 1838 during the 1900s us companies built plantation and banana exporting dominated so the politics were focused on maintaining us relationship to increase and maintain foreign investment then the great depression came in 1930 this affected the economy significantly on set of world war 2 honduras joined the allied nation 
in 1941 and helped control German, Japan and Italian aggressions. In 1963, a military coup took the government control and it lasted until 1979. Then the election was held in 1981 and its modern constitution was approved in 1982. In 1998, Hurricane Mitch caused massive destruction, destroyed about 70% of country's crop and estimated 70 to 80% of transportation infrastructure, including almost all the bridges. Some 5,000 people were killed. Total loss were estimated at 3 billion US dollars. In 2009, executive power was taken from president and transferred to Congress in a coup. Countries around the world, the Organization of American States and United Nations all formally rejected the de facto government. The election was held in 2010 and Honduras elected their president. People and culture! Hondurans were also called Characho or Characha, originally coined by Nicaraguans after Honduran general Florencio Sarach. Hondurans are very family oriented, often have very close ties with extended families. Street festivals and carnivals are fundamental part of life. Music like Punta, Salsa and Cumbia are popular in most places, while Calypso and Ragi are common in Caribbean coast. Hondurans are also very laid back and polite people. Lifestyle in Honduras vary widely. The rich are more Americanized and lead a comfortable life, and poor have hard time sourcing food. Honduras' population is closer to 10 million. 90% of them are mestizo, mix of European and Amerindian descent. 7% of them are American Indian, 2% are black, and 1% is white. The Caribbean coast and the islands are home to Grufina people, descendant from African slave and Arawak Indians. Honduras also have the largest Palestine community in Central America. Their ancestors came over from Ottoman Empire. Spanish is the official language spoken by almost all Hondurans. Few indigenous people speak their own language. Grufina is one of the main indigenous language. Majority of the Hondurans are Catholics. Elementary level of education is free and compulsory. However, lack of schools, cost of uniform and transportation are still a huge problem. Sports in Honduras means only one thing and one thing only. Soccer. Every town and village in the country has a soccer pitch. Honduran food mixes up cuisine from Caribbean, indigenous, Spanish, and African. The Grufina have their own way of cooking. It's pretty good and a little bit more adventurous and spicy. Hondurans are not afraid to use few jalapeno peppers in their cooking. But typical meal is rice, beans, tortillas, meat or seafood, depending on the region. Fruits are staple. Coconut and coconut milk are main ingredient. Economy. Honduras has the second highest growing economy of 55 billion US dollars in Central America, only behind Panama. However, it is the second poorest country in all of Latin America with only 5,200 American dollars GDP per capita. The country faces high level of poverty due to unequal distribution of income and high unemployment. 
the economy relies heavily on few exports such as banana, coffee, shrimp, palm oil, fruits, lobsters and lumber, making it vulnerable for natural disasters and price changes. However, investment in non-traditional export sector are slowly diversifying the economy. Other manufacturing products include apparel, automobile, wire harness and cigars. Economic growth is depending on US economy, its largest trading partner. The currency Lempira is named after Indian chief who died trying to save his land from the Spaniard. Now you know little more about Honduras. If you are planning to visit, stay closer to tourist area. People are generally polite, kind and very helpful. But this is a country that has the highest crime rate. Stay closer to the tourist area. Some of the best places are Copen Rooms, a Mayan site, Rio Congreja, a perfect place for whitewater rafting, Trujillo, most beautiful colonial town, Bay Islands, best beaches and best place for scuba diving, Musquitia, also known as the Amazon of the North, a wildlife paradise and many more places to enjoy. Hope you learned a little bit and had some fun. The next country we are going to do is Nicaragua. Please check out the other videos to have a better understanding of Central America. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you for watching. Goodbye until next time.